Somebody bless God. Somebody exalt the Lord. Can you stand and turn your Bibles as they come to Luke chapter 22? Luke 22, in the meanwhile, stand. And verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And he said unto him, Lord, I am ready to go with thee both into prison and to death. And he said, I tell thee, Peter, the cock shall not crow this day. Before that thou shalt thrice deny that thou knowest me. My God, the reason why I'm living this life. Jesus. The reason I'm living this life. Verse 31 of Luke 22. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, 
means pay attention to what I'm about to say. Satan had desire to have you. Satan desire to have you. My God. That he may sift you as wheat. Ah, my God, there is so much in this one passage. Amen. But the Lord says, but I have prayed for you. I have prayed for you. And how many believe that, you know, the Lord's prayer is going to be answered. It's not going to fall to the ground. Oh, yes. A simple topic. Beware of the desire of the tempter. Beware of the desire of the tempter. Simon was one of one of those who was up front. He was like the spokesman amongst the twelve. Amen. He was one of those that was in the inner circle. Those, amen, one who the Lord can depend on. But Satan have a desire for him. Why did Satan have a desire for him? And we might believe he did not have a desire for the others. But I'm telling you, he's going after the shepherd. He's going after the head. He's targeting the head. For the Bible says if he can smite the shepherd, the sheep will... Beware of the desire of the tempter. He desire to have the people of God. But in John 17, the Lord prayed and said, No, not one of them shall be lost. Not one of them shall be lost. So the Lord prophesied to Peter, reveal to him what is about to be done. When those who are watching and those that are here, when you have a position, Satan desire to knock you down. Satan have a desire to mess up your marriage. Satan have a desire to mess up the church. Satan have a desire to mess up your faith. Satan have a desire that the brethren don't talk one to another. Satan have a desire. But let me tell you something. Jesus have prayed for us. Somebody exalt the Lord. Amen. Jesus did not say, I will stop the devil from desiring you. He did not say, my God, hallelujah. Amen. But what Jesus did, Jesus prayed for him. Mm, when was the last time you prayed for the general overseer. When was the last time you prayed for the pastors uh, from the various branches? Uh, when was the last time, uh, amen, you prayed for the leadership uh, of the various departments? Uh, when was the last time? Because Satan have a desire. That means it's something that he wants. Something not only he wants, he's going after it. He's what going after it. But the Lord prayed. Listen to what he prayed. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. Do you know if we don't have faith? We are not saved. If we don't have faith, 
we can't please God. The Bible says we walk by and not by. So beware of the desire of the tempter. Want to come to divide, to separate. And that's what he tried. But thank God for prayer. Come on, raise your hand. Those who are, you thank God for prayer? That your faith will not fail. Even if you stumble, get up. Even if you stumble, if you fall, get up. In the name of Jesus. Job went through something real bad. But Satan was trying to sift his feet. His wife was there, my God. And saying, why don't you curse God and die? I always believe the reason why she said because she still look good and she will get remarried. But nevertheless, he said, you speak as one of the foolish woman. His sons died. His daughters died. But who was Satan after? Who was he after? He's after Job. He desired to have Job. My God. Oh, Jesus. So sometimes when our children are acting up, who do you think they're trying to get to? Who you think they're trying to get to? They're trying to get to the parents. My God, so the parents uh, can have some contention. Uh, amen. And the contention can carry over to church. Oh, somebody bless God. Somebody bless God. Amen. But because tonight we are wiser. Mm, than yesterday. Amen. We have learned more that Satan desire to break this ministry down. That is why so many, my God, want the leader to bow. Satan desire the bishop to bow. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He tried the wife. It didn't work. I said he tried the wife and it did not work. He said you speak as one of the foolish woman. Mighty God of Daniel. Oh, you think he's not trying? You think he's not trying? He's, he's not trying? Uh-huh. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Beware of the desire of the tempter. Mm, my God, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes, he's going after you. Hallelujah. He's going after you. You might say, well, I'm not a parent. So it's not, yes. He went after Jesus before he was born. He went after Moses before he was born. Amen. Because he knows the potential any human being can become. The apostle Paul believed that he was doing the works of God. Until he met Jesus. And the Lord said, Paul, it's hard to kick against the prick. He said, who art thou, Lord? I am Jesus whom you persecuted. So when the enemy comes in like a, the spirit of the Lord will. That is why so many folks in Christendom are bowing. They are bowing to the vax. They are bowing to the beast. They give large sum of money to use church as an edifice to give out the vax. 
service, but still not use the same building to have service. And say so you can't come to church unless you get vax. Oh, somebody bless God. But I'm telling you, Satan, desire. That's his desire. But somebody say, he can't have me. Come on, those who are watching say, he can't have me. The songwriter says, Satan, you can't catch me. Mm, you hold me down. I wanted to go. But now I'm free. But you can't catch me again. So the Lord said, I have prayed for you that your fate, which is the source of yes, that it fail not. That's the so your belief in him, your belief in God. Hold on to that priceless thing that you have. Every person that get healed almost uh, in the gospels, the Lord says, uh, according to your faith. He said, I've never seen such faith in Israel. So when God gave us a word, prophetic words from the scriptures or from his servant, we have to hold that word by faith. Hold on, hold on until your change come. Hold on, hold on, brethren. Don't bow. Hold on. They're dropping mandates left and right. So the CDC said next week they're coming out with a lighter, lighter version. You want to be light? Just drop it totally. Just drop everything. Because God has spoken. Let the church say, God have spoken word, let the church say. So he said, he's not going to sift you like wheat. You know who's a wheat? A believer is a wheat. My God. Oh my God. A believer is a wheat. Satan don't want to sift no tear. He wants the wheat. It's the wheat he's going after. Has anyone ever eat? We call peanuts with it's in a shell plus the nut itself is covered with chaff. Chaff. So you crack the nut open, the shell. Then the peanut is covered with some type of a uh, say again? Yes, it's covered with a coat. And then you just rub it together. Because you don't want that. I just want the, the peanut. Yes. That's what Satan desire to do. To crack you. My God. And to sieve you. Have you ever sieved sand? Those who are building house. They go to the riverside, set up a big net, get a shovel, and throw the, the sand on the net. The sand goes on one side, and the gravel stays on the other side. You need both. You need sand, and you need gravel. But the enemy wants to crack you, and he wants to sift you. He wants to take out all that which is good out of you. The number one thing he wants to take is your faith. Because if you stop believing, it's over. If you stop believing, it's over. Jesus is sleeping on a boat. And storm came. Storm. Hurricane. Unexpected. Shows up! And Jesus is sleeping on a pillow. Yes, he, he was out ministering all day and he's resting. And the disciples cried unto him. Master, carest not thou that we perish? So he got up and asked them, where is your faith? After he rebuked the winds and the waves and they obey him. And then he said to them, where is your faith? Where? Where did you place it? 
Did you place it in that professor? Where did you place your feet in the time of trouble? Beware of the desire of the tempter. King David was a mighty king. But pride was moved upon him. And he numbered the people. Why did he number the people? Because he's receiving victory after victory. And now he believes it's because of the army. It's because of our doing. It's not the Lord speaking to us no more. We come so self-sufficient. Hallelujah. But the Lord sent the prophet unto him, Nathan. And said, so what you did is wrong. And the Lord said, you're going to get three judgment. Choose one. My God. Mm -hmm. Do you want pestilence? My God, to be in the land for three months. Do you want your enemy to chase you for three months? Or do you want the Lord to discipline you for three months? And he said, my God. Oh, Jesus. He said, let me fall in the hand of the Lord. Ah, Jesus. I don't know. I, 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 you can't trust man to have mercy on you now. Amen. God will have more mercy on us than anyone else. And as he began to receive the punishment, not only for him, the people also was bearing the consequence of his decision. The tempter want to destroy the wheat. And then the Lord showed mercy. It wasn't even three months yet. But the Lord showed mercy. So if we fall, get up. Get up. That's what Jesus was saying to Peter. When thou art converted, strengthen the brethren. Quickly, number one, how to resist, you got to submit to God. Number two, you got to resist the devil and he will. Number three, draw nigh to God and he will. Number four, cleanse your hands. Keep your hands pure. A few years back, one of our ministers preach a word that we got to keep the pipeline clear. When the pipeline is not clear, that which is to flow is being hindered. It's being slowed down. That's why you call for the plumber because stuff is backing up. My God. Stuff is what? Backing up. Number five, purify your hearts number six humble yourself these are all things he's asking us to do the reason why he's asking us to do it because we can seven casting all your care upon him eight be sober nine be vigilant Nine and a half. That's verse nine of First Peter. It said, "Resist the devil steadfast in the faith. Resist him steadfast in the faith." Ephesians chapter six and verse sixteen, as we have heard tonight, it says, "What? Take the shield of faith." Why? Take the shield of faith that we might be able to quench all the fiery darts. Of who? Of the wicked. Because it's, listen, even if he didn't succeed yesterday, that means, that doesn't say his desire is gone. But we got to stay covered. 
We got to stay under the word, under the covering. Amen. We got to stay in church. We got to stay in fellowship. We cannot be isolated like those geographical channels when they're going after an animal. The lion just going after the one that's at the back. And when he's separated from the army or from the fellowship, they tear him apart. The Bible says he's like an adversary. A roaring lion walking about seeking who he may. That's, his, that's what he has to do. But God says, I prayed for you that your faith fail not. I thank God for this word. Stand to your feet. Oh, yes. So, no matter what the beast is trying, glory to God. No matter what mandates they come with. Uh, let your faith remain strong. Uh, amen. And even if someone, even if you believe your faith is not strong. We heard a testimony a few weeks ago. One sister, she said her faith was down. But someone else who saw her believed that she's, oh, you're so strong. Oh, you're always up. What, what, what? But they didn't even know. But they still remain. Even if you're shaking on the inside, they don't know. They don't know. Just keep holding all the way. They don't know. Psalms 12 verse 1, help Lord, for the godly man ceases. For the faithful fail from among the children of men. Psalms 1 verse 4, the ungodly are not so, but are like the what? Shaft, which the wind, that's the enemy's desire. To do to the people of God. But it won't work. It can't work. It will not work. Somebody repeat. It can't work. It will not work. Hallelujah. I cover myself. Lay hands on your head. And said in the name of Jesus. That which Satan desire will not work. Cannot work. Will not prosper. Because Jesus has prayed for me. That my faith fail not my god jesus bible says he that endureth to the end the same shall be saved quickly those who are watching the lord i prayed for you that your faith fail not remain in the gospel remain as a believer don't bow as you have heard and seen Many are releasing or freeing up the mandates that they so desired to place on us, but it did not work.